Hi, my name is Jay Phelps and this is Ear to the Ground. Join me in part two with saxophonist, singer and composer Beth Hopkins as we discuss the sacrifices made to become an artist and how that artistry can lead one down many paths. I think what makes Beth special as a musician is that she's not afraid to bring in her own influences and those influences are very different from... They combine to make a completely different sound, I think, with this band especially. Um, you know, like, she grew up as an emo kid, um, listening to Dave Grohl, um, what's it called, crowd surfing when she was 15, um, to Foo Fighters. Um, also, she loves indie music, um, kind of folk singer-songwriter, um, and like jazz and Fela Kuti and Afrobeat and, um, you know, more like kind of dancey jazz music. Um, and she loves to scream on the saxophone. And how are you going to put that all together? As she somehow does um, in a way that nobody, nobody else can even come close to. Uh, my name is Will, also known as uh, Wilhelm. I play bass in uh, Queen Colobus. I'm also the trombonist in uh, Ebi Soda and the VV Experience. What is the melody? Columbus. Columbus. Oh, Columbus. But I don't know. I actually don't know. That's your word. That's your word. That's your word. Columbus. Well, what about? <laughs> yeah, you can have it. This is my city. Who is Queen Columbus? Huh? Who is Queen Columbus? That, I mean, it's us. But basically, there's a monkey called a King Columbus. And we thought that was a really amusing phrase. And I was like, oh, let's go Queen Columbus. Actually, my brother's a scientist and he sent me an evolutionary biologist. Yeah, you sent me like loads of animal names and that's all I'm So stiff. It's just. I'm gonna be in here doing warm up. I feel alright. Like right. right. Okay, cool. Like, mm. oh, okay, what is it? What, what do you have to sacrifice to be an artist? To be an artist, um, affording anything expensive, <laughs> or non-expensive, non anything at all. Um, I think. I mean, you have to be prepared to be able to do everything. 
you know, like I hate social media with a passion, but you've got to like you've got to do it because that's how people a lot of people hear about gigs and things. Um, so you've got to be prepared to like muck it. That's what I'd say. And you are one day you're like a tour manager, one day you're the band's manager, one day you're um, like leading the rehearsal, one day you're the songwriter, or whatever. Like you, you, one day you're doing the social media. You've got to kind of do it all. Um, and yeah, I mean, what are the things you sacrifice? I think it's like being also prepared to, for nothing to happen. Like for, for actually, the, it to, like you just to keep oh. working and fucking. She's <laughs> watching Jelly Bros. Oh, that work. <laughs> that's <laughs> sacrificing right there. That, that's, how, that's how you sacrifice. Oh, oh my God, how do girls do this shit? Oh my god, it looks amazing though. Fair. No, I look like a. Oh no. How did you, did you put glue on? Well, it said it came with glue, but it's a bit too long. Have you any scissors? Uh, no, but I have seen people trim eyelashes before. This no, I have none. You. Yeah, you sacrifice. You, you know what you want to do to your face, your beauty standards. You gotta be like, right, like I've got pink hair. I'm like, I've got, I've got to stand out. You know, you gotta be like, what can I do to stand out? I don't know. I mean. One thing is like you just muck in and do basically everything and anything and then the second thing is like you put it all out there like be prepared for it to not go particularly well and sometimes it can and you have to kind of live with that like weirdness of not having any idea if things are going to take off or not you know and you kind of have to be suddenly available if someone asks you to do a tour like you know you're just like right okay I'll drop everything you know you have to be so flexible so so flexible. Um, do you think this is something that you'll do forever? Or do you think that Good question. this is maybe a springboard to other things? Good question. I, I like performing music. No, I doesn't work. <laughs> 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 that's your answer. <laughs> that's your answer. Jenny's like, nah, this doesn't Jenny's, work. Jenny's just like, spoken. <laughs> She's like, actually, I've, I've had enough. Like, this isn't working. The either. subconscious comes through. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I love performing music. And I want to keep that in my life as much as possible. Music will always be in my life. Like I'm, as, yeah, like I'm really interested in music therapy. So I think one day that I'll be, I'll, I hope to be like running sessions for little kids or in care homes and stuff like that. I definitely want to go down that route, but I'll definitely always be performing stuff. I mean, it's just whether any of, you know, it's just what happens. You just don't, never know. I'm live painting tonight. And I'm doing Good evening and welcome to Late Night Jazz at the Royal Albert Hall. Please welcome to the stage, Queen Polybus! <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Of course, of course.